Hi, I'm Harold Anger from Spring Green Lawn Care, and I'm here to talk to you about centipede grass. Centipede grass is a very common grass that we find in the south. It is uh, very drought tolerant. It is, can handle the heat, has a good rooted structure to it, and it grows by what are called stolons, and this is a stolon. You can see here that it's very tough and wiry, and it has roots that are coming down along this stolon. So each where there's a root, that will branch out and produce a new runner or a new stolon. So that's how it fills in the grass. Now, a lot of people want their centipede grass to be this dark green color, especially if they might be in a neighborhood next to a zoysia lawn or, or a Bermuda grass lawn, and they want their lawn to be that color. Well, it's just not gonna happen because centipede naturally is a lighter green color. It's not that deep dark green that you can get with those two types of grasses. A lot of people wanna pump fertilizer on it thinking that they wanna make it darker green. That actually doesn't help the grass at all. You want to just use it at kind of a, what's called a spoon feed basis, a little bit at a time. But if you fertilize your lawn a lot, you are going to cause too much top growth and then you get to the winter time and if we get some freezing temperatures, all those stolons, those above ground roots, are gonna freeze and they're gonna die. So you're gonna end up with a lawn that has big patches of dead grass and you're gonna wonder what happened to my lawn. Well, the winter can really do uh, a number on lawns, especially if you have fertilized it too much. So then you're gonna be faced with doing a renovation project on your lawn. So use a lawn care professional, such as calling your local Spring Green lawn care professional, because they know the right materials and the right time to apply those materials to give you the best centipede lawn that you can possibly have. Or you can visit us on our website at www.spring-green.com and click on the Ask the Expert blog where you can learn more information about lawn and landscape problems and send me a question. I'll be happy to respond to you. Thank you.